Hello, my dears. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, some special types of diodes. Actually, there is a <coughs> heading in the uh, sub-engineer syllabus that types of diode. So we are going to discuss types of diode. Okay, I will write it in the uh, reading because all headings are in reading. That's why types of Types of diodes. So this is actually under uh, heading in the syllabus. So so many classifications are there. Special type of diode. For competitive examination point of view, we will discuss each diode, not in very deep detail because we don't want that much deep de details it's like uh, equations. No, we don't want. But we need some specific terms some peculiarities compared to other type of diodes that we, we will discuss okay so first of all we are going to discuss first of all there are diode medias cyanide diode cyanide diode i think it's we already familiar with the type of diode cyanide diode what is meant by cyanide diode so point by point we will discuss okay so first of all simple the simples are very very important for a sub beginner like examination directly they may give the simple and uh, ask to find or uh, we want to find you the find the what uh, which type of diode it is okay so that type of question also may be seen even in SSEJE examination also okay so symbol means the center diode symbol is nothing but my dear this is the <coughs> symbol of a center diode okay this is P and this is N. This is the symbol of a Senar diode. And Senar diode is nothing but my dears. <coughs> it is operated in. It is operated in. Reverse biased region. It is operated in reverse biased region. As voltage regulator. Voltage regulator. Okay. And it have certain names okay it have certain names that means constant voltage source or voltage reference voltage reference or voltage regulator these are its other names okay voltage regulator and how this center diode is formed? How the center diode is formed? Center it having it having doping level level more than that of normal diode. Normal diode. And next point in forward bias condition, it acts like ordinary diode. Ordinary diode. Okay. And next point is its VA characteristics. That is very, very important. So normally it is act to be like a diode but in reverse bias condition it is like that this is nothing but my dear vz this is v and this is i and this is nothing but or i can say like he said i said minimum okay i said maximum so that Pz maximum that is the maximum power dissipation in a cellular diode is nothing but my dear Vz into Iz max. I will tell you in briefly, very briefly I will tell you. So normally this diode is operated both diode having two uh, type of connection one is the forward bias and next one is the reverse bias. If the positive terminal of the diode is connected to the positive terminal of the supply voltage then it is called the forward bias and if the positive terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the supply voltage then it is called the negative. 
okay and for a, a negative side also if the negative side of the diode is connected to the positive side of the supply then it is called the reverse bias condition so the zener diode will operate in reverse bias condition as a voltage regulator voltage regulator is nothing but my dear in our how a regulator a regulator what is the purpose of regulator even though the load varies even though the input voltage varies even though the input current varies it always have a constant voltage it always produce a constant voltage or the terminal voltage across the regulator will be always 230 volt say that is called the voltage regulator that means irrespective of the load condition irrespective of the input change always the output of the regulator will be constant one but a certain limit okay if you reduce the voltage to zero in the input level if, if you are expecting 230 in the load side it, it is not possible okay and you are increasing the load current beyond a very high i mean beyond beyond the certain value that is iz max if you increase this current after this iz max this diode will vanish this diode will break down that also not possible but before that some fuse will definitely break down the fuse will definitely blown and we will uh, i mean the diode voltage regulator will be in safe position but even if you increasing the current after the size at max then there will be a breakdown a reverse breakdown happens i mean there will be you heard now uh, what the more carriers will be up in but circulate in the reverse direction that's why it will leading the breakdown overall breakdown of the what diode okay it will uh, burn the diode it will vanish the diode okay that situation doesn't happen because much before that our fuse or circuit breaker will come into play okay so in reverse bias condition at a particular voltage say vz which is nothing but the zener voltage suppose a 9 voltage zener regulator you imagine so vz will be 9 volt a 12 volt is another regulator suppose then you imagine then the vz will be 12 volt so at what voltage the reverse breakdown i mean controlled breakdown the reverse uh, breakdown happens and the diode conducts in reverse direction is called the zener voltage and the minimum current of the but iz minimum and we should always take care that the diode should operate in between this iz minimum and iz max I already told you whenever we increasing the load current but it should be before this iz max whenever we decrease the load current that also should be within this iz minimum if below this iz minimum then the voltage regular doesn't come into play that means there will not be any breakdown happens the current will be varying then, then definitely the voltage will be varying see this constant region now uh, this constant region only happens in between iz minimum and iz max the rest of all current there will not be any constant voltages there will not be any constant voltage okay so that's all about the uh, va kara our symbol and how it is operating and all okay and its other names it other names like a voltage reference voltage regulator okay so that's more than sufficient for uh, our competition examination point of view my dear okay next you have to see tunnel diode so i'm not going into deeper because center diode as a voltage regulator now in electronics it's a separate uh, topic we don't want that we just the heading is types of diode that's all okay if there is a separate heading center diode as a voltage diode then definitely i will take but it's not like that simply we have to familiarize each diode i mean type of diode mm. okay so next type of diode is nothing but my dear tunnel diode it's very very important diode tunnel diode First of all, if the doping 
increases by thousand times as compared to ordinary diode forms or formed tunnel diode okay that means the tunnel diode is nothing but my dear we know that what is the purpose of doping just a minute my dear i will refill my ink okay i refill my pen just a minute i started a you i mean separate videos for uh, uh what just for your entertainment or enjoyment huh? regarding the techniques regarding the how to study okay probably i will put a single i mean one video per day in order to boost your preparation in order to energize you in order to boost you okay just a minute yeah okay my dear so tunnel diode is nothing but my dear suppose the doping concentration doping level of the normal diode pn junction diode is increases by 1000 times that means more doping you have to introduce in tunnel diode so what is meant by doping doping is nothing but my dear normal semiconductor is not intrinsic semiconductor it's called intrinsic semiconductor it will not conduct that much at normal temperature or normal condition so in order to increase the conductivity of the semiconductor i mean intrinsic semiconductor we have to add some impurity okay that impurity level may be one atom hmm, per 10 raised to 8 or 10 raised to level atoms that much small impurities we added that conductivity of the intrinsic semiconductor increases very very uh, drastically increases and it will uh, what uh, come into our it will form as extrinsic semiconductor that extrinsic semiconductor is actually used in the what uh, pn junction diode and all okay so again we are increasing the doping level much more than the normal uh, pn junction diode then it is called the tunnel diode so tunnel diode is simple it is very important my dear tunnel diode is simple tunneling tunneling so you can uh, this is the simple you can remember the symbol by using a trick see the this shape is like a tunnel or a cave now it is like a cave so that you are moving inside you know? that it is like the form of a cave so this is the shape this is in the shape of a cave or tunnel so that you can move into that is why its mouth is open towards us right its mouth is open towards us so you can move into so that is why the name tunnel i remember in that way you also remember in your own way so this is a simple my dears this is simple and its va characteristics is very very important va char va characteristics of diode right i will explain and this is and this is i this ip peak current and iv valley current and pp vp peak voltage and vv valley voltage 
PV valley voltage. Okay, so what do you mean by these terms, my dear? So if you look at the VA characteristics of a tunnel diode, so in normal junction, I mean our PN junction diode, the VA characteristics will be like this. But in tunnel diode, my dear, the VA characteristics initially like this. That means, that means I will write it as a separate uh, line. You can add this also or you can I will write like a separate line okay I will write like a separate line 0 0.1 volt to 0 0.2 volt is required to make the diode conductive in the case of germanium, it is 0.3 volt. In the case of silicon, it is 0.7 volt in normal PN section diode. But in the case of a tunnel diode, my dears, we just required 0.1 to 0.2 volt. That means that much lower voltage is required to just trigger the diode on because we are using that much what doping in that because a small voltage is enough to create an I mean uh, a required amount of carriers so that they will conduct they will conduct electricity. Or they will conduct current okay so see my dears unlike the va characteristics of a normal diode that was like i already mentioned like that now for particular voltage 0 0.7 voltage or 0 0.3 voltage it will not conduct it is called the forward breakdown region okay and after that only it will conduct forward uh but biasing or forward conducting region correct but in the case of a tunnel diode it is like a straight line passing through the origin that means it is started as soon as we switch on the supply in laterality that is the meaning so the initial region is like the this is this region is called my dears this region is called this region this is and this is one region okay this is two and this is one region okay this region this is the region one means up to this region this is called the positive resistance region and two is called the negative resistance region so one objective question, question may expect you may expect that which diode having the negative resistance region? The answer is tunnel diode because we know that whenever the carrier concentration is very much high, what happened? What happened? Under certain low level voltage, there will not be any problem. The conduct will run. I mean, the, con the, the diode will conduct very quickly and it will conduct more current even though we apply small voltage. That will current will be very high. But if you increasing the voltage my dear after p vp is nothing but peak voltage we increasing the voltage after vp what happened the diode current starts decreasing why why because if the current current is high and if you apply more and more voltage means there will be chances of collision between charge carriers happens there will be a chance of collision between charge carriers because its drift velocity is that much low at that time drift velocity is nothing but my dear it is the average velocity during successive collision it's already know you already know this because it's fundamental you already studied in plus two you already studied in first year btech and all physics so if we increasing the conductivity i mean the conductivity is very high means there will be a successive collision between charge carriers so that's the drift velocity is very low there the average velocity acquired during successive collision will be very less so that the charge cannot move faster so that the current start to decrease because of the collision of the conductors i mean collision of the charge carriers collision of the charge carriers what happened the conductivity reduces so that the current reduces so this region is nothing but my dear negative resistance region why it is called a negative resistance region i will tell you in region one in region one the speciality is that in region one the speciality like special is that v increases i increases so it is called a positive r resistance region 
positive resistance. In region 2, my dear, even if you're increasing the voltage, the current is decreasing. That means you increasing the voltage, okay, fine. But the current is decreases. The current is decreases. That is so V increases, current decreases. That is called a negative resistance region. Due to the collision of charge carriers. Due to the collision of charge carriers. So this peak voltage, peak current. Uh, peak, uh, peak uh, valley voltage and valley current this na this you have to take and after that me a particular voltage called valley voltage that is the maximum voltage that is the maximum voltage so that the current is minimum that much minimum it's called a valley current even if you're increasing after that na that means the collision are almost settled down the collision almost settled down the electron losses its kinetic energy and they will be in rest position they will be in resolution and if you further increasing the voltage the energy will be again gained by the electrons and will they will start moving and the conductivity again increases again increases that is the positive resistance region will duplicate again that 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 will continue that will continue it will continue means it will not repeat huh? the thing will continue that means the conduction will continue that i meant it will not repeat over cycles it will vanish after a particular voltage it will vanish the diode will break down permanently okay it will give to thermal runaway condition no that will not happen before the protected device come into play and we will be happy no worry so that's all about the tunnel diode my dears that's all about double tunnel diode okay and one important question <coughs> asked it is always operated in it is always operated in forward bias and another name of this is this diode is called esaki diode probably he must be the person who invented this size why it's a name esaki diode just underline it my dear this question may be directly asked what is the which diode is called the esaki diode no? that type of question you may expect okay so that's all about my dears a tunnel diode is a very very important diode it's very very important diode. okay mm, what's the time now what's the time now okay okay is it clear my dear can we move to other diode can we move to other diode okay this is much better than the desktop hmm? it can cover longer area than that desktop and regarding that videos that we are uploading daily rather than our lecture video now this is just for our refreshment my dear just for our refreshment because i know that my english is that not not, not that much good so you might have really bored because everyone no all of you all of you will prefer to hear in your own language right but there is an intention why i am taking intelligence in english okay that we will discuss later why it is and but i want to communicate more in my own language but through other direction or the other direction mean other channel that's why i started no, a separate video but I initially I, st I thought i have to start it separate channel but no to familiarize i again you have to uh, subscribe that channel also it is difficult actually so i thought separate playlist will be i will make separate playlist its name is let's talk let's talk is the name of my um, what newly added videos playlist so you can go there you can just refresh refresh there okay i will add videos regarding studies only for example how to what prepare for exams how to prepare very good notes huh? what is the best time for well 
uh, studying like that so many so many topics are there related to study related to examination related to mental health everything so i will uh, study on that i will what uh, put at least one video per day so that you will get some relaxation or some refreshment na no? and you also if i talk there in malayalam you also feel very friendly so that this is i hope see actually i considered this now we have 763 subscribers presently so 763 people it's not a simple task or not a simple thing i considered you as my family okay so if i want to communicate freely i am going to happily this classroom is actually very restricted because here i am telling you the very but serious contents and you are taking notes and you are studying okay but after that what what we are we are like friends we are like a family so we have to communicate na that's why i started that videos series okay so that you also communicate with me through that you also share your own opinion okay that's very we will make a healthy relationship there okay that's why so next diode is very very important shakti diode it's very very important diode my dear it is also called hot barrier diode or hot carrier diode and the symbol for that short key diode is that the symbol for the short key diode is that okay <clears throat> here also we are using you see unlike normal pn junction diode in normal pn junction diode that where we rule both are what semiconductors but now in the short key diode we are using a conductor semiconductor junction rather than rather than semiconductor semiconductor junction junction so that overall conductivity increases overall conductivity increases okay so we are adding a metal junction a metal and a semiconductor junction J, this is a junction this is normally aluminum metal and the, the other conducting this is a this, there will be a conducting lead and there also will be a conducting lead na no? that conducting lead is known as gold or platinum leaf so that overall overall the conductivity is increases that the resistivity is resistivity decreases overall the conductivity increases and the resistivity decreases and this is the fastest diode fastest diode and it is used in phones that is mobile phone mobile phone or tablet because in mobile phone or tablet screen na if you touch 
something in the screen okay is it appear after two minutes or one minute or one second no at the instant of time itself you will get the results results response right at the instant of you touch the screen you will get a response so that type of diode fast acting diode now inside that mobile phone we are using or inside the tablet we are using or inside any touch devices touch devices touch screen devices we are using the uh, what short key diode or this is the fastest diode okay this is the fastest diode <coughs> and next we have to see pin diode means pin diode so pin diode means it is nothing but any that means p means p type of material i means intrinsic material this intrinsic material may be anything intrinsic 14 group element any any 14 good element we can use as a intrinsic material germanium silicon or anything we can use okay any semiconductor intrinsic semiconductor that means there will not be any impurities there will not be any doping that is called the intrinsic semiconductor but this p and n are what extrinsic semiconductor which means we added some doping right we added some doping or we added some impurities so that it is extrinsic semiconductor so p i n means p type intrinsic material and n type extrinsic material so p type extrinsic material one intrinsic material and n type extrinsic material that is nothing but the pin diode see it can be operated in i will write one by one my dears <coughs> it can be operated in forward as well as reverse bias forward as well as reverse bias it can be operated and <clears throat> and when voltage increases voltage increases depletion layer decreases and current increases similarly when voltage decreases depletion layer increases and current decreases due to this reason it is called it is called variable resistor or variable resistance in forward bias condition my dear forward bias condition bias condition is it clear now because this is nothing but when it is forward bias my dear what happened when we increases the voltage what happened this is also in forward bias this layer is a forward better due to the injection of carriers across the depletion layer what happens the width of the depletion layer will become narrower so that more more recombination will happen there now in forward direction but in reverse direction means the width will be increasing but in forward direction means whenever we are increasing the voltage forward voltage what happened the, deple the depletion layer with the decreases which happened in normal diode also okay which happened in the normal diode also and see what happened when we increasing the voltage what happened the depletion layer decreases and i increases so when v varies i varies when v decreases i decreases when v increases i decreases what is the nature of this type of characteristics it is a variable resistor it is a variable positive resistor i, I can say like that voltage increases current increases voltage decreases current decreases so it is like a positive resistance right positive resistance simply it is like a variable resistance in forward bias condition and what happened in reverse bias condition when it is reverse bias my dear when this reverse bias bar ha what happened in reverse bias in reverse bias bias what happens <coughs> the width of the depletion layer will become wider so what happened means my dear listen this is one conducting region this is another conducting region but compared to this it will not be that much conducting that's the main reason in order to increase the conductivity we are using the uh, extrinsic semiconductor right but the intrinsic semiconductor at room temperature its conductivity is there but it is not that much higher right but even though we are increasing the voltage level by applying certain increasing the voltage means nothing but by applying some external energy am i right so what happened when we increasing the voltage in the reverse bias condition what happened my dears this depletion layer will become wider okay this depletion layer will become wider and again this depletion layer will also wider 
So what happened? There is a capacitance called the transition capacitance. There is a transition capacitor. Normally, in a PN junction diode, I will uh, later on take it very, I mean, in the next diode, we will uh, look at this very seriously. But you just understand this one thing. Whenever two conductive medium, this is one conducting region and this is one conducting region. When it is applied by a dielectric, there will be a chance of existence of what? Capacitance. That is called the transition capacitance. Okay, so what happened in reverse biased condition? This is nothing but the width of the depletion layer and this is also nothing but the width of the depletion. This width of the depletion layer become very wider so that what happened means my dear, there will be two capacitance formed. One is in between these two and another is in between these two. And these two are connected in what series? Am I right? This is the same material, na? same wafer. I mean, here in between these two and in between these two these two capacitance connected in series so the effective transition capacitance is given by my dear c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 normally normally in any pn junction in any pn junction suppose this is p and this is n junction there will be a depletion layer there will be repletion layer when it is in reverse wiser condition but when it is in forward wiser condition the width of the depletion layer is not that much so that there will not be the effect of capacitance that much because what uh, the width is in the width of the depletion layer now which is increasing you know the see suppose the width is not that much means they, we, we can't say that there will be a dielectric effect. That means there will be any dielectric uh, what effect will happen. Suppose the width of the depletion layer increase means there will be devoid of charge carriers. Now that region contains devoid of charge carriers. That is, there is no charge carriers in the depletion region. So that it will be that region will be act as a perfect insulator. That region will be act as an insulator. So that whenever the width of the depletion layer is very high means what we can increase capacitance is equal to epsilon a by d that epsilon will be very high there so that the capacitance will be very high there so normally there will be a capacitance due to the width which is nothing but c is equal to epsilon a divided by d my dear where a is nothing but the area of the plates and d is nothing but the distance between the plate okay distance between the plate this distance distance between when this distance is increasing when this distance is increasing what happens the capacitance will be decreasing but but the effect of decreasing uh, this d na, the effect is more here in epsilon as compared to the effect due to d and the effect due to epsilon when compared these two effect the effect due to epsilon is very very high that is why whenever we are increasing the width of the capa width what happened my dear the capacitance effect will be more and more that is why in forward bias region we can't see that much capacitance right? that much capacitance okay because there will not be any dielectric region exist whenever the diode is in forward bias condition that uh, depletion layer break or depletion layer vanishes right and the forward connection will happen so that electron hole combination will be able that the charges passing across the depletion layer and there will be a break of depletion layer happens that's why there will not be any capacitance when it is in forward bias condition but when it is in reverse bias condition the things is different that means epsilon exists there so that capacitance exists there so normally this is the capacitance my dear normally this is the capacitance so what happened ct will be see now compared to this this is nothing but two capacitance region these two are connected in series so what is the equivalent capacitance when two capacitance are connected in series what is the equivalent capacitance when two capacitance are connected in series which is nothing but my dear c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 is it clear but but normally this due to one depletion layer capacitance now that is in the range of in range of picofarad that is in the range of picofarad okay Picofarad. That means capacitance is actually very less there compared to the man-made capacitors, right? original capacitors. That capacitance values will be in range of picofarad. That is again connected to C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2 manner means the overall capacitance. Overall capacitance reduced compared to 
normal pn junction the thing is very clear my dear just listen to me when it is forward biased it is likely it is act as a what variable resistance okay in forward biased condition but in reverse biased condition what happen there will be capacitance and there will be chance of two capacitance formed in series so the effective capacitance will be nothing but c1 c2 c1 divided by c1 plus c2 but in normal pn junction diode when it is in reverse biased condition there is such a capacitance which is called a transition capacitance this is called my dear transition capacitor in reverse biased region whenever we increasing the that transition capacitor is in pi co farad range so it is due to one capacitance but here it is in two capacitance and series means compared to normal pn junction the two capacitance here in series are connected so that the effective capacitance will be again reduced from this pi co farad it may be in the range of what in the range of what uh, 10 raised to minus 15 range it will happen that is it is again lower than the pi co farad range so in the overall capacitance reduced compared to normal pn junction diode so 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 i will write here i will write here okay. so in reverse bias condition the diode act as a constant constant capacitance or capacitor constant capacitance because it is already in pi co farad we again decreased so it will begin come to already it is low again it is low means we can consider to be it is like a constant pi co farad means it is nearly very low again in decrease means it's again nearly very low means low low so we can consider this as a constant so in reverse biased condition very important my dear in reverse biased condition the diode act as a constant capacitance the diode act as a constant capacitance okay that is all about the what uh, pin pn junction the pin diode my dear and its uh, symbol is nothing but this like anode and cathode okay that is all about the pin diode my dear so these terms you have to uh, focus in forward biased condition it is act to be uh, like a variable resistance in reverse biased condition it act as a constant capacitance it act as a constant capacitance okay that's all about my dear spin diode so that's all about the pin diode okay next one photo diode so that can be operated in both uh, forward and reverse biased okay next one photo diode next one photo diode photo diode so this is the photo diode and this is it's simple simple this is not nothing but it's simple so this is p and this is n p 
P and it's S M. So photodiode it operate in reverse bias condition. Light is used to break down of depletion layer. That means normally it's operated in reverse bias condition, my dear photodiode. And what is the symbol means? It is nothing but PN junction diode with the light emission. Light it is light is what supposed to fall on it. Okay. And what happens when light falls, the electron will get sufficient amount of energy so that it will start what uh, uh, breaking it will start breaking the uh, barrier potential or in the or the uh, depletion layer okay that's why the conduction will be there conduction will be there that's why the conduction will be there my dear and <clears throat> this is nothing but the characteristics so this is nothing but the photodiode this is something but the normal layer. Okay, so this is more that is uh, more than sufficient for the. It's not that much question will be asked. Photo diode. The symbol is very very important, my dear. The symbol is very very important. Okay, okay. So that's all about this thing. The symbol is very very important. It's operated in reverse by condition. Light is used to activate the what the conduction in reverse by region. Next is very important. Overactor diode. Next diode is important, my dear. Overactor diode. Overactor diode. So this is the symbol. This is the symbol. It is also called very cap or variable capacitance or volt cap so these are its name ideas it is also called variable capacitor now varactor is nothing but variable capacitors variable reactants or other word is other name is variable reactants these are the names very cap variable capacitance volt cap or variable reactants or variable reactants okay and this is also operated in reverse bias region this is also operated in operated in reverse bias region reverse bias region this is also operated in reverse bias region and see we know that i already explained in so this is and this is P. So there will be if it is connected in reverse bias manner. There will be what, my dear? There will be a depletion layer. And this is nothing but the width of the depletion layer, and this is the voltage. And see, my dear, the capacitance here it is nothing but called the transition capacitor. I already explained C T is equal to what? Epsilon A divided by D. When we are increasing the reverse bias condition, what happened, my dear? both its epsilon as well as its d will be varying this also vary and this also vary right the width of the depletion layer with vary means it's what dielectric strength also vary it distance also vary so that this capacitance also vary so that is why the name my dear variable capacitance we are variable reactants we are varying the capacitance of varying reactants so in reverse bias condition we can vary the capacitor that is why it is called a variable capacitance or variable reactance okay that's all okay so that is nothing but the varactor diode so variable capacitance or variable reactance this uh, symbol is very very important my dear this symbol you have to take care and this equation also 
basic equation also okay so that's all about the over actor diode next one led light emitting diode next special diode is called light emitting diode LED. It's very familiar, na? You all of you familiar with this? Yes. And the questions will be like from material. Material. What is nothing but it is gallium arsenide or gallium phosphide or indium phosphide or gallium arsenic phosphide. These are the material normally used. General or common material used for common material used for making led is nothing but my dear gallium arsenide okay gallium arsenide is the material which is used for making the light emitting diode and you know this whenever the diode is in forward bias condition forward bias condition only it is work its work forward right light it will emit light okay basic principle you know this and <coughs> the important fact or important thing in the competitive examination point of view led emits emits what radiation infrared radiation infrared radiation this is commonly asked question causes skin cancer causes what my dear skin cancer so this is very very important skin cancer and infrared radiation it emits and maximum intensity maximum intensity of light occur occurs when the current is 20 milliampere this point also you have to note okay simple so that is you know that the simple is nothing but the reverse of photodiode no? light is emitting there that's why the simple pn simple okay simple this is the simple okay my dear so that's all about the what that's all about the uh, different types of diode so i took this session for the sub engineer level of examination a level examination also you can use the heading is actually special i mean types of diode so it is more than sufficient okay so that's all for for today's session my dear let's meet again tomorrow with a new subject i mean with a new topic so thank you so much